Next, a couple of quick points about uh, Rand's politics. Rand is, broadly speaking, a liberal. And liberalism as a broad political economic system has two components. One part of it is uh, an advocacy of free markets in the uh, economic sphere. And so Rand is an advocate of free market capitalism. And what this means uh, for her is that uh, the fundamental responsibility that each of us has uh, by the time we are adults is to make our own way in the world. And if we think of just the economic component of this, this means that we have the responsibility for making a living, putting a roof over our heads, clothing on our back, and so forth, earning the, the money or creating the values that we all need as adults in order to be able to uh, achieve our goals in life. It also means then, in addition to being a productive person, uh, respecting other people's productive capacity and dealing with other people on a basis of uh, trade. So other people create value, you create value, and uh, you spot opportunities for exchange, you negotiate, and you work out mutually beneficial transactions. So the point here is that what we need is for people to be free in order to be productive, right? creators of value, and that when we deal with other people, it should be on the basis of voluntary trade. And so important part then of uh, education, right, uh, both as parents and as formal educators, is teaching students right, the importance of eventually putting them in a position right, to become productive people in their own right, so that they're not, so to speak, going to be parasitical right, on other people, the way thieves and various other uh, types of people try to live off of other people without exchanging in value. The, the, the great uh, importance and, and, and joy that can come from being a productively creative person, the importance of respecting other people and trading with them instead of trying to, uh, to manipulate or steal from them right in various ways, and then uh, respecting other people's freedoms and, of course, uh, jealously guarding one's own. Now, of course, there are lots of people who don't respect other people's freedoms, who don't uh, try to be very productive and who, uh, who don't, are not interested in trading with other people. And so Rand believes there is a proper role for government. Government is an institution that has the power of force, right? It makes rules that are backed up by the police, right? Or, or it tries to protect people's interests uh, by the use of the military. Uh, puts people in prison, right, who are not fit for, for social living. So government, uh, in contrast to the free market, right, is an institution of compulsion. And so Rand believes that there's a proper form of government if it is devoted to the protection of individual rights, right, that each person has the right to their own life, right, we don't belong to society, we don't belong to the king or, or, or government. Uh, every individual has freedom rights. They should be able to live their life as they see fit. And this applies not only to the uh, economic sphere, but also in their romantic lives or their love lives, in their aesthetic lives, and any other area of life and so forth. We should be able to live freely according to our own rights. Uh, another important right, of course, is property rights. Uh, we have to create value and consume value. And so if we have produced something, we've earned some money, we've acquired some property of various sorts, then we should be able to control that property and use it and or consume it on our own terms. And part of the proper uh, function of government is to protect people from those who would damage or destroy or steal other people's properties. So this is the uh, positive point in Rand's, uh, Rand's uh, uh, political system, that the emphasis should be on uh, teaching people and encouraging people and institutionalizing uh, uh, people being creative, productive, traders and exchangers of value with each other. This is the, essentially the negative point. It's a proper function of government to stop people who would interfere with people's uh, rights, who try to kill people, enslave them, kidnap them, steal from them, and so forth. So uh, teaching people as parents and educators a uh, proper respect for free production, uh, free productiveness and trade, uh, a proper understanding of individual rights, a jealous guarding of one's own rights, and a respect for the rights of under, other individuals, that also will be part of the proper responsibility of parents and educators.